Hey, this video is for your um, predicting precipitation reactions lab. Um, what you're going to be doing with this lab is doing a series of precipitation reactions, um, mainly to determine what mistake I made. Okay, and what I mean by that is you're going to have ten solutions. Okay, ten solutions, and those solutions are going to be classified in A and B. Okay, so my A solutions are sodium iodide sodium carbonate sodium phosphate sodium sulfate sodium hydroxide cobalt 2 chloride copper 2 sulfate aluminum sulfate Barium chloride, and lastly, nickel to nitrate. Okay, those are the ten solutions, and I'll go ahead and number them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the reagent bottles that you have. We'll have them labeled this way, okay? Um, but one of them isn't what they're supposed to be, okay? And what you are going to do is you're going to use your knowledge of precipitation reactions and predicting precipitation results or products um, to see which one is not what it is, okay? Um, because based on this information that you have, you should be able to um, determine if a solid product will form or not, okay? Um, for example, if I was to uh, mix sodium iodide and copper uh, cobalt 2 chloride, um, I should have, uh, maybe I have a precipitation reaction and I have a solid product, maybe I don't. Okay, so what you're going to have to do, and my advice is, I would put every single combination of A and B together, okay, not A and A and not B and B, but A and B together to find out, well, which ones, which reactions should form a precipitate, which ones shouldn't. And of course, that's going to be based on your solubility rules. Okay. Um, in the lab, what you'll, um, what's important to know is all of your A solutions, which are all, you know, sodium uh, cation ionic compounds, um, they're all colorless. Okay. They're all colorless. And your B set of solutions are all colored. Okay, now at no point during your reactions should you mix two colorless solutions, nor should you mix two colored solutions. Okay, so it's always a colorless with a colored. Okay, so another way to put this, A plus B, colorless and colored. You are needing to, um, before you come in, my advice is to do as many possible combinations you can. Okay, because that's actually what your quiz is going to be on when you come into class. Um, before the lab, right? I'm going to give you any one of the reactants A, any one of the reactants B, and expect you to tell me if there's a precipitation reaction there or not. You're going to have to give me a, um, a balanced chemical equation, okay? So, for example, if I was to just throw this out here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll do one of them for you, right? We'll do, um, let's go ahead and do these two right here, right? Sodium carbonate. Right and copper two sulfate. Okay, so sodium carbonate, copper two sulfate. Okay, so sodium carbonate, copper two sulfate. So sodium, right, and a plus carbonate CO three two minus copper two Cu two plus. Sulfate SO4 2 minus. 
So a combination of those guys, if I was to combine those two, I would get Na2CO3 and CuSO4, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put them together in a reaction. So I have sodium carbonate plus copper sulfate. Now, as you can see, during a precipitation reaction, I have a cation and an anion um, for both of my reactants. I just switch places. So <coughs> it'll be, you know, sodium sulfate as my product, one of my products, and the other product will be copper carbonate. Okay, so taking a look at that, my copper carbonate, or sorry, let's go sodium uh, sulfate. Sodium is plus one, sulfate's minus two, so I should be Na2SO4. And then I should have the copper two carbonate. In this case, copper two is Cu2 plus, and then my carbonate is also uh, two minus. Okay, now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure it's balanced, okay? And if you take a look, oh, isn't that sweet? It's already balanced. I have two sodium on one side, two sodium on the other. I have uh, one carbonate, right? Two sodium, two sodium. One carbonate. Uh, I'm going to remember if the polyatomic ion shows up on both sides. I can just keep it together, right? One copper, one copper, one sulfate, one sulfate. Okay, so I'm already balanced. Now it just comes down to what's my solid and what's my, uh, if I even have a solid, right? Um, in this case, I'm going to look at my products, sodium sulfate, okay? If I look at my solubility rules, sodium sulfate is soluble, okay? So this is aqueous. And then copper to carbonate would be a solid. So what I'm going to want from you is I'm going to give you those two. And when you guys come in for your quiz, I'm going to give you two reactants, and this is what I want in the end. And this is what I want circled when you give me your quiz. Okay, it would be Na2CO3 aqueous, right? If you don't put the state in there, you're not going to, it's not going to accept it. I'll give it back to you. Okay, copper sulfate aqueous, sodium sulfate aqueous and copper to carbonate, solid, okay? So you'll start with this, you'll be given this. All right, sound easy enough? So, like I said, the purpose of this lab is one of these 10 isn't what it's supposed to be, okay? You need to use your knowledge and your ability to do this stuff and tell me which one's wrong, okay? Um, there is um, only one, just to let you know. Okay, so when you're doing them, if you end up having two reactions that you thought were supposed to be of a certain way, um, trust me, there is only one. Okay, so double check your work. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Okay, if you guys have any questions, by all means ask. Um, and get ready. Make sure you're being closed toe shoes. Okay, closed toe shoes, and you're going to goggle up for this. Some of this stuff can definitely hurt uh, your eyes. All right?